Good afternoon, welcome back to the CSU studio live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. I'm here with Bob Noxious, my name is Pandora Pandemonium. It's crazy loud in here. We're on track one for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. The next game that we're going to see is Team Japan and Team Scotland. And the last game that we saw on this track was Team USA versus Team Finland. Yeah, obviously the, the, the Team Scotland, Team Japan game is going to be the one of major interest. Uh, actually, it should be a really good game. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not, it's not going to help either team advance towards the cup. They're both out of that race, uh, but they will continue to play throughout the weekend. What I will say is uh, the Team Finland, Team Japan game, I was on the, the house call for that, uh, the feed call for that one, sorry. It was an incredible game. Team Japan really bought that A game. Their defense was really strong. So against Team Scotland, I'm expecting to see good things. I think we've got an inkling that we know which way it's going to go, but we're going to see an awesome fight from Team Japan for this one. Well, you know what they say. That's why they play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So um, we've just got a couple of minutes, so we're going to throw over to our feed announcers on to track one. Um, uh, track two shortly after this is going to be Argentina versus Sweden. So uh, Team Japan, Team Scotland on track one for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. We'll hand over to the Stay those guys. tuned. Brackets coming. Yeah. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Skate Shop track here at the Acadia Recreational Complex in Calgary. My name is Smacklemore and joining me for this game is the wonderful... Rod Crasher, thank you. It's great to see you again on the feed. We did, uh, my last game was with you like Scotland, yesterday. Ireland yesterday, I believe. Yeah, so I feel like you are the Scotland guy. Is anyone that why you're calling all the Scotland games? Anyone would think I was the Scottish announcer. <laughs> you are. Uh, there's I'm gonna be sure a lot of Scotland it. fans at home tuned in and listening <laughs> to this. So to all the Scottish fans at home, aye aye, fit like, and welcome to the broadcast game. Sure, there whatever he said. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Moving swiftly on, let's get on with it. We are here for, as Broadcrasher mentioned, another Scotland game. This is Scotland versus Japan. Uh, big importance to this one. Yeah. Uh, if Scotland do win, they go up into third place automatically. If Japan can pull off a win, that opens up a third, fourth, and fifth place in this group massively. That'll be amazing. Uh, if they win by more than five, Ireland will be third in and that they, group. It's going to be huge. This so it's huge. it's Extremely kind amazing. of a game changer, depending on who wins. Uh, this could be interesting. Apologies, folks. It looks like my headphones have gone down ever so slightly. There we go. There I'll you go. It's back. called volume. What happened to that button? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Less than two minutes to go until we get this game underway. So why don't we give you a quick rundown on other things that have happened today? Okay, so uh, yes... Uh, Actually, on the last track, on the CCU track, Italy took on England, and England won 242 to 8 for Italy, uh, which is a huge win. Big, big winning margin for England. They're making a bit of a statement as we start to approach the final two days of this MRDWC 2016. For, uh, for Scotland, sorry, this is, of course, their first game of the day. Oh, yes. Uh, they played three games yesterday, if I remember rightly. Very correct. And they are taken against Japan today. So this is their last game to determine where they're going to end up in the seeding in their group. We've got loads of other games still to come today. We've got a junior showcase coming up after this one as we move into hour-long games. And then after that, we'll actually see whoever finishes fourth in this group. We'll take on whoever finishes fourth in the blue group alongside them. So this is going to be an interesting game to see the least. This starts to decide where our seedings actually lie. I see, I see. Uh, yeah, so we're learning and everyone else is learning exactly how this is working out. And uh, thank you for explaining that to me. We're getting so, so <laughs> close to the, uh, again, as they call it back in the UK, the nitty gritty of things. This is when they get into yeah. the, uh, when things really start to get tight and things really, really be start to hit home. When there's a lot less games tomorrow as we return to regular length games. Indeed. So that'll be fun as well. Indeed. This is the very last 30 minute game of on the track weekend. one. There's still one more to go on track two, the Sisu track, which will take place between Argentina and Sweden. But on track one, on the Nerd Skate Shop track, we are ready to get this, the final red group game underway Japan taking on Scotland jamming first for Team Scotland who are wearing blue is 1998 that's T or T virus as he's known to those at home 
And he's going up against U2, that is number one in white for Japan. One of their most consistent and strong block uh, jammers, sorry, of last uh, MRDWC. Looks like an illegal procedure for number four, Mayugi Bondai. And Lee Jam goes to 1998 T-Virus for Pirate of Scotland. U2 is still trying to get by number 101, chasing him down, see if he can stop him. Oh! Big hit, keeping down U2. Indeed, looks like a multiplayer block assessed to one of the blockers, though that's 316 Skate Pliskin. He'll take a seat in the penalty box. U2 finally making it through that pack. He has finished his initial pass. Let's take a look and see what uh, Scotland has to say about that, shall we? Indeed, he spotted a line on the inside. T-Virus spots a line on the outside on his final score and pass. Five more points up onto the board for four, sorry, for Power of Scotland. As we take a quick look at an instant replay here. So this was just as they set off from the line. Yeah. T-Virus took a bit of a spill, went to crash through, found the space, dropped the shoulder, still managed to spot the inside line to get lead jammer. They reset for this one. It looks like number nine, Hutchison, jamming now for Power of Scotland. He's going up against number two, Kabuki Mono. Jammer sets off, Kabuki Mono gets that first, a bit of leeway at the front. Hutchison off to the outside, recycled back. Kabuki finds the inside line of turn two and <laughs> oh. makes it, picking up Lee Jam status for Japan. Call that one apiece for Lee Jam so far. Two jams oh. in, one for Power of Scotland, one for Ninja Pan Rollers. And that was a huge hit from uh, Hutchinson there, getting him through the pack as well. Kabuki calls it off. Sees the call coming, no points up on the board for Kabuki Mono, but nothing conceded at the end as well. Which is fantastic. Kabuki makes an it through on this instant replay, and here we see... That big hit from number 2374, Power of Scotland. Tough living up Ooh. to his name. Ouch. <laughs> big, big hit. First time I've had a chance to see this particular jammer for Power of Scotland is number 976, Scrim Shady. Big, solid offensive block from Mick Zub. Clears a space. Scrim Shady though gets caught up behind one of his own blockers as he went out at the front. And unfortunately for you too, you see he has gone through the pack, but unfortunately for him, Star had come off. So that is not a power or lead jam for him. Sadly for him, no pass completed by Scrim Shady. So unfortunately for you too, he did get out of the pack, but the star had come off. No points apiece on that one. Scotland still lead nine to nothing after the first three jams and nearly three minutes gone. Multiplayer block assessed to one of the Ninja Pan blockers, number seven, which I believe is Ume San. Ume -san. And again, another jammer we haven't seen so far in this game. Four jams in, four different jammers for Power of Scotland. White and McDowell now, 2-2-1-2. Two, two, two. Going up against number two, which is Kabuki Mono. And of course, White and McDowell does make it through the pack first, picking up Lee Jam status. Kabuki Mono stuck behind those oh, powerful Oh, there he goes. Up, up, and away. Ooh. White and McDowell jumps the apex. If you couldn't see him because of the wheels, you can certainly see him when he flies. <laughs> I believe he's a big fan of R. Kelly. <laughs> Good to know, I guess. All right. He believes and he flies. He's oh. through, but not successfully. He did cut the track, which means that it is a our first, actually, uh, Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Indeed, but it looks like we're going to get a, a quick switcheroo, one. unfortunately, as Kabuki Mono goes to take a seat. He parks his butt. That'll release White and McDye back into play. Japan reorganizes on the track. Scotland doing their best to break up that pack so that their jammer can make their way through. White and McDowell takes the hit off, rightly called, no pass, no penalty. Signaled that by one of his blockers, took the advice. Optimus Grime with a big offensive block at the front. Takes out Naruto, clears the space for White and McDowell. Kabuki Mono doing his best to get by that black or back wall there. Now getting caught up behind White and McDyes. Oh, oh, goodness me. A little messy. Optimus Grime doing a fantastic job of holding him back and pushing him down to the inside of the track. Hi, I'm Optimus Grime. Meet my shoulder. It's going <laughs> to hurt. Optimus Grime then to reset at the front. Almost takes out one of his own blockers. He's so keen to get in there and get back in the action. 
White and McDonough now things slow down a bit as it comes in. Optimus <laughs> Grime with the sweep there to help <laughs> him out. A one-man sweep of the entire Ninja Pan team. Something happened. We have a uh, direction of gameplay going to Japan. Looks like some uh, an out-of-play block as well, potentially by the pivot. That's one-on-one -on -one Matheson. And the jam comes to an end. I'm not sure, did Panel Scotland have any other blockers on track there? It seems like Optimus Grime just went out and says, you know what, I'm going to take out Ninja Pan. I'm in one of those he moves. He basically did the entire thing. It was pretty great. He is. <laughs> uh, he can be a one-man wrecking crew at the best of times. And he, that, there it the is moods, again, and instant replay. Thank you so much. Uh, fantastic job of sweeping. Oh, <laughs> goodness That me. looked painful. That's going to hurt for a week. That looked very painful. Back in jamming now for Power of Scotland's 1998T. It's going up against Harikiri, which is not how you say that name. Harikiri. There we go. <laughs> That's how you say it. T now <laughs> pushing away clear at the front. Two. Out of play call. T gets lead jammer. Matheson out of the penalty box back in play as well. Harikiri is trying to find his way back onto the track, trying to figure out where he can go, trying to take the inside line. Sneaks by. Oh. Oh, Huge skate hit sends him down. Yeah, and it looks like through. direction of gameplay. Oh, a low block. Take your pick there between the two for Skate Pliskin. He takes a seat in the penalty box, and as he does so, uh, T calls the jam at the front. Before we reset for this next jam on the Nerd Skate Shop track, a big thank you to our sponsors. First off, S1. The S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a lifer, be a lifer, S1 helmet. Dot com. They also sponsor Power of Scotland as a team, which you just saw a lot more of in that instant replay. That was pretty impressive, Impressive, that's for sure. You 2 taking the line for Japan. And number nine, Hutchison in the blue, taking the star for Power of Scotland. Slow start off of that Nerdsgate jam line as they try and push their way through. Neither jammer looking to Duke and Jive to the outside as yet. But as they come out of turn one, a high block is called to Hutchison. He'll go and take a seat in the penalty box, and we have a Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power jam for Power of Scotland. For Japan, you mean? Uh, for Japan. Japan My has made it through the pack. He gets lead jam status on turn three. I was away to call the penalty on Dafty for Power of Scotland at that point. That's what confused me. He's trying to pick up speed, try to avoid oh. the guy on. He makes it with a nice quick hit with the shoulder. He is through the pack, picking up. Five points, the first five points for Japan this game. In Japan off the mark, smart jam in there from U2. He saw Hutchison standing in the penalty box, realized they would have the advantage of the Roller Derby Athletics power jam to start the next one if he called it off now. So as you can see on this, uh, in this instant replay, he's speeding up, speeding up to try to avoid that blocker. And throws the shoulder does. and can just completely throw his give out of his skates. He does it. Now this is a wall that people will be familiar with in Scotland. Two teammates on track now, Matheson and Morris, both part of the Granite City Brawlermen, or Brawlers Roller Derby, my apologies, up in the northeast of Scotland. So these two know each other well. You can see there, they know each other's positioning, they get reset, try and work hard at the front of that wall. Works the full effect, Hutchison's out of the penalty box and into lead jammer. Kabuki Mono tries to jump his way around Hutchison and it does not work out too well, sorry Morris. Oh, Hops giving a jump, away he goes. Out of play, penalty called on at number 99, Bubble for Ninja Pan. There are only two, oh, looks Optimus like there's only Grime one blocker again. for Japan right now. Goodness oh, me, Optimus Grind comes out of nowhere again and charges through. Out of play, penalty issued to, that looks like 04 Morris. But then number zero, Dafty, on his way to the penalty box, as is Optimus Grime. Matheson now 1-0-1, one, one, flying all alone on this track. And a play block being issued. There's a lot of split up. We've got two blockers on track in play. It's a lot of space wow. being left open for both wow. jammers here. Matheson facing one-on-one. -on -one. Kabuki Mono. Kabuki Mono has finally made it through, and he gets another few points for Japan. That's four points going to Japan. Optimus Grind came out, put a big shoulder check in, but it looks like he did so illegally. He'll make his way back to the penalty box and set down a lot going on in that jam. Optimus Grime is going to have to watch himself because he has had quite a few penalties in this jam alone. 
There's been a few big heavy hit penalties. We see this here, just one blocker left per team on track. Kabuki Moro drops the shoulder, throws it to Matheson's chest, just shrugs off around the outside, and this is what Optimus Drive was sent off for. Yeah. It's a big shoulder check to the chest. And it was a nice jump there by our jammer here. Yeah, uh, that was the uh, the penalty that was issued to Optimus Prime. As we get a team timeout called by Power of Scotland, we will go to a quick commercial break. S1, 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 S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. And as we come back from that official team timeout and our commercials there, big thank you to our sponsors, of course, Sisu being one of them. Sisu Mouse Guards, if you've not yet discovered the awesomeness that is Sisu, you must invest in one. These ultra thin, super strong mouth guards allow you to talk, breathe, and drink. I could maybe use one for calls. <laughs> they look great in photos too. Get yours at the Nerd Roller Skates booth or go online and search for Sisu mouth guards. Yep. Team timeout comes to an end. Only one blocker left on track to start this jam for Power of Scotland. You two Doesn't going make a difference. Mighty McDie, <laughs> Mighty McDie, of course, through the pack. You two through the pack as well. He's not too, too far behind. Get Mighty there, McDie working is solid. speeding the heck up. Looking for his opening now. Gib worked an amazing job as a solo blocker on track there, able to hold YouTube back long oh, enough. Oh, YouTube jumps <laughs> through. There's only two. Oh, oh, oh. Four wow. up for Ninja Pan. Nothing for Power of Scotland to end that jam. They had one blocker left, they got lead, and somehow you two did, <laughs> well, what you're about to see again he on just, track. He just, like, jumped through it. That was amazing. You can see here, White and McDie takes his position, tries to set, U2 says, okay, you want to go that way? Watch me go this way. Bang! Lands the apex jump. Points on the board. And the crowd goes wild. So Scotland progress ever so slightly to now having two blockers on track to start this jam. Jamming for them is number 976, Scrim Shady. And number three, Harakiri, is on the line for Japan. And unfortunately for Scrim Shady, it looks like a track cut called we have a Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power jam for Ninja Pan. Oh, oh goodness big me! Big hit to his face. Matheson with a shoulder right to the face. They unfortunately spotted by the referees. High block called. He'll make his way to the penalty box. That penalty box filling up again for Power of Scotland. They've been quite penalty heavy so far in this game. Harakiri doing his best to come around. Still getting hit in the face. Skate it looks like. this time. Looked like a bit of secondary contact. The block itself was okay. Optimus Grime now back in play for Power of Scotland, brings them back up to three blockers. They're now a three on two advantage. And so sneaks in and on changing. the inside, it does not happen. Attempt number five, I think. Roller Derby <laughs> Athletics Power Jam over now as Scrim Shady comes out of the penalty box. Takes a spill quickly back to his feet. Nice hit. And Japan of course, has lead made it jam through. Still open there, although Scrim Shady got through first. He had actually gone to the penalty box earlier in the same jam. Right. Ninja Pan able to take lead jam as soon as he got it. And calls he calls it off right away, which is probably best. <laughs> Smart jamming. As soon as you realize you're out, you've got lead, but you don't have superior position, call it off, save the points, yes. come back, reset, and start again. Yeah. 60 minutes left to go. Excuse me, Japan 13, Power of Scotland 64. 1998 T is going up against number two, Kabuki Mono. As they set off from the uh, Nerd Jack skate line. The Nerd Skates track jam line, I apologize. T takes lead virus. T takes lead virus? Lead jammer. T virus takes lead jammer. <laughs> I need to go it's guard a little bit more. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a long, long weekend. Four arms penalty called on the outside there for one of the Power of Scotland blockers. Looks like he'll be joined by Dafty, who takes a seat there. 2 8 2 0 oh, 4 power of gold. And as he goes, Gibb going on his way to join him. So again, just one blocker left on track for Power of Scotland at that point. Tough is who he is, and he is doing a fantastic job of knocking Kabuki Mono 
left, right, and center off the track. Kabuki Penalty. trying again to get by. The only one left is number five for Gibb. Scotland. It's Gibb. Yeah. Kabuki Mono has finally made it through the pack. He can possibly pick up some points if T lets him. Uh, no, he does not. <laughs> T calls it off. Very smart. Scotland so far lead jam in around about 70% of the jams that we've had in this game so far, and they're almost on 70 points as well. See here as they set off from that Nerdskates jam line. T-Virus switched quickly to the outside, hopped up onto his toe stop, skipped, ran, and away he went for lead jammer. And by the looks of things, we've had a team timeout called by Ninjapan, and we'll go to a commercial break. Just go to any game and you're like, oh, yeah, this is why I do this. I skate for the Linden Roller Girls and S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. Welcome back. It's, uh... Getting really loud in here, but that's fantastic. It means that we are coming close to the end of the day as uh, the juniors are ready to come on next. I think uh, <laughs> is lining up against number one, that is U2. So just uh, a quick mention of a tweet that we've had sent into us regarding the uh, the Power of Scotland guys. Watch your penalties, eh? <laughs> what have the <laughs> Japanese boys ever done to you? That's a fair point, if I'm brutally honest. Jumping and jiving around, he's still in on turn one. He makes it through, getting lead jam status, and the crowd erupts. Some of the noisiest games you will ever see in Men's Roller Derby World Cup history feature Ninja Pan Rollers. Number 04, Morris now makes his way to the penalty box and sits down. Hutchison uh, is coming up to see if he can score, and he uh, gets called off, of course. Out of play block, assessed. Looks like McZoob will make his way to the penalty box to take a seat. Two blockers down again. The penalty's proving quite heavy and it's costing Scotland ever so slightly. Japan starting to nip away at that lead of power to Scotland. Japan 13, Scotland 69, 12 and a half minutes to go. Harakiri trying to take from the inside line to sneak by his own team. Oh. Optimus Grime with a huge hit. Getting sent to the penalty box for a forearm infraction. Nice. Oh, nice. He takes it. Harakuru makes it through the pack first. Getting lead jam status as Wayne McDye stuck in behind. Knocked down to the ground and inside. He's going to have to be forced to the back of the pack. Giving Harakuru another chance to score some more points. Five more points up on the board for Ninja Pan. As Wayne McDye gets slowed down a little bit. You see, as the pack starts to Tyson. Oh, well, there we go. I don't think there was actually a gap there. White and McGuire just seemed to find space. Japan has had three of the last four lead jams, which is uh, pretty great for them. They've figured out something that works for them, and uh, they're using it to their advantage. I think all those Proven penalties, defensive. for sure, have been a huge advantage to Japan. Proven very, very effective for Neem Japan. They've Sneaking caught again. By. 22 points they're now sitting at. When you only have one blocker on. It's a lot easier. It's an old cliche, but it's a lot easier to win a game if all of your skaters are actually <laughs> on track. So true. Jamming for power to Scotland now. Number 976, Scrim Shady. Mayugi Bondi dropping the hips, keeping the shoulders, trying to move and hold Scrim Shady back. Lead jam. There we go. Four out of five. 80% in the last five jams. Now taking the lead <laughs> by Ninja Pan. That's number one at U2. Dave Bliskin was uh, facing... Will's trying to race him to the penalty box as he skated away. Uh, U2 takes a hit off on the inside line. Mayugi calls it off. Three points apiece to finish that one, though. Scrim Shady kept skating, kept skating, got those points on to finish. See, they're on your screens the moment that U2 got out and got lead jam. Like you say, four out of the last five now have gone lead jammer in favor of Dean Japan. They're now 25 to Scotland, 72, with just over 10 minutes left to play. 
And they're off Kabuki Mono looking for his entrance. Going into that triangle. 1998T for Pyro Scotland taking off on the inside, recycle back. Finds a gap on the outside though, Tough runs it. off and takes lead jammer. Tough is gonna hold back. Working well as a solid pair. It looks like number five, Gibb, working alongside Dafty and Tuga at the front at three wall of Power of Scotland. Skate Pliskin now comes out of the penalty box, comes in to work a little bit of offense. Clears a space for T Virus. And T gets through. Calling it off, picking up his five points. Five to nothing jam at four Power of Scotland. Puts them 77 to 25, less than 10 minutes to go. See, this shows the difference that it makes. Power of Scotland's managing to keep their skaters on track a little bit more these last two jams. Yeah, they've thought it over the last uh, last break that they had. Had a little powwow at their bench, I guess, and uh, said, stop hitting people wrong. Yeah. Just do it right and we'll be okay. <laughs> Formidable four on track for them now. Morris, Matheson, Cronenberg, and McZoob proved quite effective so far with number nine, Hutchison, jamming at works, gets them back to lead jammer. U2 is doing his best to sneak by, trying to find that opening still. Cronenberg working defense at the back. Morris gets in on the action. He makes it through. U2 is out, chasing Hutchison down. Two very similar stances and similar styles from both of these jammers. Hutchison with a big hop, skipping a jump leap. Landed down, did he land it enough to get the points? That would have made a fantastic photo. He did indeed, <laughs> landed the apex jump and got the four. That was a beautiful jump and dive. Jumps, lands, hits, hips, calls. <laughs> See there again, the reset as Hutchinson approaches. Gets low, jumps, lands, just keeps his skates in, but just is just enough. Calls it off, that was awesome, it was beautiful. Man who's known for his apex jumps now is 2 2 1 2 White and McDie jamming the four power of Scotland. He's going up against Harakiri again for J Ninja Pan. Bit of jammer against jammer off of that Nerdscape jam line. Optimus Grime doing his fantastic job as always, holding his position and steering. As Not much enough. As he can. Oh, nice. Oh. There's a tiny gap made by one of our Ninja Pan. Back block assessed to Harakiri. He takes his seat, Not Roller Derby long, Athletics, though. quick switch around, power jam, as he sits down, Harakiri's released. But of course, Harakiri wasn't seated very long, which means White and McDye won't be either. Harakiri, I guess this will be a full two minute jam, as none of the jammers have made it through the track uh, without a penalty. Exactly, both have been to the penalty box, so this will run the full two minutes. White and McDye jumps and jives, picking up points or his uh his initial pass sorry direction of gameplay assess to optimus grime optimus grime has to be careful he's almost through his uh looks like we've now got another roller derby athletics power jam as harakiri goes to the penalty box for a track cut all white and mcdye does is jump that apex every single time he's one of those even though you may know what he's gonna do you can't stop him from doing it there it is just he, like that. <laughs> he just, he sees that gap. He loves that apex. He loves every apex, if I'm brutally honest. <laughs> the easiest way to try and stop that from doing is have your pack positioned on the straightaway. Don't give him the option. <laughs> you can see when packs become sped up, spaced out, and spread out like this. Oh, nice. That was a little bit unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> White and McDyde. White and McDyde <laughs> skates are the only thing that we have for lighting out on the track. Absolutely phenomenal. No idea if you can hear us at home. If you can, uh, you can tell. We had a power outage at the Acadia Arena. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> I guess that means it's an official timeout. We also have one of our other announcers, G.I. Jones, with some light up shoes on the other side of the track. And now Putting he makes on a shine. show. Oh, you can change the colors, strobe lighten it up. I think he's affecting the contrast of the camera. <laughs> Fantastic. A little bit unfortunate for them as they try fight the way through. <laughs> so this is something that we were not expecting at all. 
don't know what happened with this power situation. That's uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> it just went dark. All of a sudden, everything went off. I think uh, maybe even the electricity supply just thought, you know something, White McDyke's wheels are phenomenal. It's time it's, we highlight those even I more. I know, he needs to get out on the track, do a lap or two, I think. Um, I think we should also figure out, you know what? I feel like it was raining a little bit before when I was outside earlier. Um, so slightly rain, maybe that's what this is from, who knows? May well have caused something to go wrong, or like I say, we've just got a lot of G.I. Jones madness shoes going on in the background <laughs> instead. This is, uh, this is a new one, this is a first for me, wow. I must admit, I've never taken part. And it's not like this was an important game at all, right? This not was a slightest. game changer. <laughs> not in the slightest, this had nothing to do with anything. Both these teams just bumped into each other outside and says, hey, fancy playing some roller derby, let's give it a go. <laughs> they figured they might as well kill a bit of time while they were there. There we go, we'll have a little dance off between our lighty shoes and wheels. <laughs> <laughs> we get a moon, a light up moon Oh, very fancy. <laughs> Give this me what up here. <laughs> and there's one. <laughs> so, not sure what's. Ten to fifteen. Are we still live or? Okay, thank you. So we are talking to the crowd by saying we will uh, be back in about ten to fifteen minutes. Um, I suppose maybe we can uh, cut to some commercials or do something in that, in that case so that we can uh, have something going on for you guys at home. So yes, again, we'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes while we figure out this power situation. Stick around. It is Japan versus Scotland, okay? Go for it. Your roller skates is your dedicated club. Roller skates show up in Calgary. <laughs> specific thing and the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates nerd roller skates official skate shop men's roller derby world cup 2016 for people who roll i am your fortress on the front line of sport engineered to be stronger than the attack I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu, and I fend for you.
So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unfortunately, as you can see on your screens, we are still in darkness just now, but the referees have had a chat with the team captains and the organizers. They have agreed to basically end the game because of the time it'll take, around about 10 to 15 minutes to get these lights back on live. And unfortunately, because of that time, we are on a bit of a tight time schedule, especially for the venue and for daylight and everything else. Yes. Team captains and referees have agreed to end the game as it was. So the game is over. Uh, the score, I guess the final score technically is 105 to 26, Scotland, Power of Scotland in the lead, of course. So they uh, have moved on. They will now finish in third place. Obviously, USA topping the group. Finland coming in second. Yep. Power of Scotland will finish third. Ireland will finish fourth, which means we'll see them later on this evening in the final game of the day Fantastic. here on the Nerd Skate Shop track. Right. And Japan will finish in fifth. So both Scotland and Japan will now move on to the third and fifth place games respectively for tomorrow's schedule. Okay. And Ireland will play their fourth place game later on this evening here on the Nerd Skate Shop track later on, which I believe is the last game of the day on this yes. track, which will be after the Junior Showcase at around about 7 p.m. local time. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> it's about two hours from now, let's just put it, it that It way. says a lot about <laughs> what they're doing. I mean, both teams are great. All right. Both of these teams were skating so well. Ninja Pan were on a bit of a roll, clawing themselves back into it. Optimus Grime had actually just committed his fifth penalty and had fouled out towards the end of that game. There was a lot happening. There's still a lot going on. It's almost bittersweet because Optimus Grime had been doing such a fantastic job of blocking, and he needed to uh, he needed to stop making penalties, and he fouled Indeed. out, and so they didn't lose a jam or a blocker for that. Sadly so, yeah. for them. But uh, that's it from us anyway. Thank you very much for tuning in for what we had of the game anyway. <laughs> now, we're now going to pass you across to Panza back in the studio, who has a bit of a special interview for you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you. We'll see you all again later on this afternoon. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, welcome back to the Sisu studio here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. Well, as you probably know, we've had a power cut, so we're currently uh, trying to figure out what we're going to do with the games moving forward. But what I did manage to do was grab Dark Matter from Team England for an interview. So how's everything going so far? Um, the team's doing really well, yeah. Everything's going to plan. Um, we've won all our games so far. Pretty good margins, all going good. So you're, you're on the top in your group um, yeah. at this point. Uh, we don't expect to see any changes moving forward. What do you think is going to happen over the next couple of days? Well, we've got a tough game coming up against Finland, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to be potentially Canada after that. Right. Um, so that's going to be where the tournament really is going to kick off, I think. Um, how's, how's practice and everything been up until this point for you? Yeah, it's really good. We've been, we've been training once a month, uh, getting together as much as we can. Obviously training, bringing all our training that we're doing in Team England back to our clubs, trying to keep things tight. Good. In comparison to some of the other teams here today, you have a relatively small journey throughout the UK <laughs> to yeah. train. Yes. In comparison to other leagues that have got skaters coming from different yeah. countries and through like the whole of North America and South America. Yeah. Um, in terms of time that you put into this, any, can you quantify it? <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, when did you start training? Well, I've been in the squad for four years now. Um, this is the first opportunity I've had to play for England in open games. Um, I played a few closed games. Um, so for myself, it's been four years of at least two days a month. Um, training hard. That's obviously just with the Team England guys. Mm -hmm. Got everything outside of that as well. Yeah, and you're also a member of Tyne and Fear up in Newcastle, which yeah. we, we already know each other, we have done for a long time. Um, has, have you had schedule collisions? Um, luckily, we haven't actually. Um, we've been really good trying to organise everything around games with the British champs being involved in all of the teams mm -hmm. that are in Team England. Um, they've, been, they've had to really keep themselves organised to, to yeah. avoid any clashes, um, which is good. Excellent. Uh, any games in particular that you want to stay and watch, provided we get the power back on? <laughs> Anything the team Japan in is great yeah. to watch. <laughs> they, they, they really get the, 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 the crowd goes crazy. Yeah. No matter what they do, they come out of the pack, they get lead jammer, the, the roof is totally blown Their off. Their ethos is amazing. They just, they just play Derby. There's nothing else to them. It's great. <laughs> Maybe that's why the power went off. Uh, <laughs> Um, thanks so much for joining us. I think we're just going to go to some ads and then try and figure out um, what's going to happen moving forward. But it looks like some of the lights are coming yes. back on. 
um, to uh, a little like cheer from the crowd. <laughs> um, if we've got any more gameplay coming, we'll let you know as soon as we have some more information. Thank you so much for sticking with us, uh, and we'll see you again soon. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. A lot of very impressive people in roller derby. This was definitely a proud moment for me, wearing the black, white, and red. I care about this thing more than I care about any other article of clothing in my wardrobe. This represents to me, like, seven years of like, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Glitter is fun and hardcore. I've learned that it's hardcore. <laughs> my uniform is always in pristine condition. My truck is purple, my shoes are purple, <laughs> my underwear are purple. It takes a lot of drive and a lot of passion to keep going in roller derby. Sometimes you, when you play roller derby, you're just kind of like, why am I doing this? This is so weird. I just can't imagine that I'd get more kicks, like playing golf, <laughs> than I do hitting a b you know? feels good. <laughs> My name is Rachel Rotten. My name is Midge Wilhelm. I'm Fifi Nominon. I'm Jackie Daniels. My name is Steph Maney. Hi, I'm Scald Eagle. And S1. 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 And S1 is part of my uniform.
way he threw it. That was walking into hell. That's going to be head down and shovel. Using it to... Walls just holding, holding, they holding. They are Nothing extremely tight. Buster taking it. Buster. Penalty box points. Oh, big. Get <laughs> skated right into that. Yeah. That's impressive. Can't miss. Oh, oh, oh. Can't miss those skates. We thought we were doing it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rocket boost now back inside, back to the inside. A little apex hop. Hello and welcome back. Surprise, <laughs> surprise, we are back. What? We're here once more. We're back again. Oh. Not with the Renegade Master, but back with the last six minutes or so left to go of this uh, Power of Scotland versus Japan game. We have got this back underway. There are six minutes, five seconds left to go on the clock. They've got this game underway. We are now a minute or so down from that time. Power of Scotland now leading 110 to 25. We'll give you the full rundown when we get a bit of a break in the action from here. Let's get this jam finished first, shall we? U2 is taking the line for uh, Japan, of course. It's a Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power jam for Ninja Han. Looks like Scrim Shady was seated in the penalty box. He stands now as U2 tries to find a gap. Trying to push in the back, Morris working solid, trying to hold him. Cronenberg, Matheson, great solid four all we've seen through. from him. And he picked up his five points that he uh, desperately needed to uh, break it up to 30 points for Japan. The Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam is now over though. Scrim Shady out on the penalty box, back in play. Blocking with the head, called on U2. He did drop his head and just tried to charge through. That means Power of Scotland will start this next one on that Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Their turn to give it a go. Basically what happened, just to give everyone a quick rundown, is we lost the lights. Everything went dark. <laughs> we were told it would take 10 to 15 minutes to get those lights back up again once they'd warmed up. It happened a lot quicker than we expected, so referees, captains, officials and organisers decided amongst themselves we would have time to get this game back underway. And that's where we lead to right now. Don't forget, Optimus Grime did foul out the last uh, last time we talked to you, I guess, really. Yeah, that last jam just before the lights went out, Optimus Grime <gasps> picked up foul number five. Power of Scotland out for lead jam with 1998 T-Virus. That does put them down the skater, but they're up to four blockers on track just now. Holding that Ninja Pan pivot at the back, trying to hold the goat, as they call it. He is through. Yes, he is finally through with the help of Tough, number 238. 237, sorry. He works a little bit of offense at the front, works a dream as he creates space for T. Roller Derby Athletics power jam over. You two back in play into the back of that power of Scotland wall. He's through. Yes. Big hit. He does not quite make it through. That was his initial pass in this jam, so he was not scoring any points. Um, Still, Scotland did pick up a couple of three points, I believe, actually. Uh, you two expressing what we are used to here on the live feed for Ninja Pan Games. Bingo hit, though, from <laughs> you two to clear space for himself at the front. <laughs> Let's see what the blockers can do in regards to big hits as they face off against number nine, Hutchison, for Power of Scotland. Here, here. Ah, uh, that. Him. Harakiri. That sorry one. about that. Number three. Uh, number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry. This is my, my last game of the day, and it's with me. <laughs> it's been a long day. Hutchison <laughs> taken off by Mayugi Bondi. Recycle back. Oh, teamwork from Ninja Pan. 
number seven, Ume San, working with Mayugi Bondai, who frees up enough space for Harakiri to go out and take lead jam for nice. Ninja Pan. We do have one blocker from Ninja Pan He's headed to the penalty box as well. So three left on the track to clear some space. It's number 99, Bubble, who went to the penalty box. He was just a couple of years ago the only one of Ninja Pan who actually spoke English. He was their team translator for most of 2014's wow. games. All right, he calls it off and he picks up three points as he does so, which is fantastic. Two points going to Power of Scotland as well. Japan now 35, Power of Scotland 125, with just over a minute left to play in this game. Oh, we see some derby love on the Nerdscape's jam line from U2 and White and McDye. I want to say we have a minute left in this half because it feels like we've done two halves. We have definitely done two halves for sure. White McDye sets off, U2 sets U2, off, crashes huge into the hit, back. Getting a back block pa uh, penalty is being sent to the penalty box. That means it is a <laughs> roller derby athletics power jam. For White and McDye, Power of Scotland going to take try and take advantage of it. Dafty comes in to work a little bit of offense for White and McDye. White and McDye down, back up and recycle to the rear. Doing the smart thing, wasn't sure if he could come back on and get no pass for it, but Better safe than sorry, you yeah. can do more damage on track than you can off it. That's for sure, oh, especially during a power jam, you don't want to waste it, for sure. I know he didn't land that in track, but he somehow still landed an apex jump on his toe stops. <laughs> Tough McDonough and number yeah, five Gibb nice. at the back there as the three wall for Power of Scotland. Ready and waiting, joined by one of their teammates, looks like McDonough. As Umi, as U2, sorry, not Umi San, comes out in the penalty box. White and McDye. I don't think we ever see him hit anyone ever. Put in a shoulder check there on U2 as he came around the back. U2 through. Unfortunately for U2, he Got did land on cut. track, but calls the cut. Out of play block called McDonough and Gibb now on their way to the penalty box. So again, Arrow Scotland, couple of penalties, leaves a little bit of space. Jammer on jammer action, which is always my favorite thing to see. U2 managing to hold himself upright beautifully. Now faced by Tough at the front, and it's a tough call for him. He made it through, picking up four points for Ninja Pan. Out to play penalty assessed to Tough. He'll make his way to the box, wave back on track as it's full at the moment. And, and as the clock ticks down, runs out, the whistle goes, and we do now officially <laughs> bring this game to an end. This is it. Unofficial final score on the board. We'll get the final score confirmed to you just shortly. But one thing we can confirm is that, yes, the game is now officially done. It is officially done. Yes, Power of Scotland will now finish in third place. And the final standings for the entire group can now be officially, officially, finally done, finished, confirmed. <laughs> So. USA finished first, Finland finished second, Power of Scotland third, Ireland in fourth, and Ninja Pan in fifth. That means Ireland will play in the fourth place versus fourth place game later on this evening at seven o'clock right here on track one, the Nerd Skate Shop track. That, that, that game literally had everything. Foul out, <laughs> jammer penalties, power, power jams, <laughs> power outages. Can we, can we call it the Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power outage instead as Let's we go forward? Let's do that, yeah. Phenomenal game from both. Final score confirmed. Power of Scotland 134, Ninja Pan Rollers 40 points. What a game from both. This was an interesting one. I've never actually had to experience a power outage before. Uh, they did tell us that we were going to call it off and now they are back. We finished it. Japan showed us a little bit more of what they can do and they did they brought it. Such an improvement from Ninja Pan in the space of two years. A phenomenal team and a phenomenal team performance from them through both days of this. I look forward to seeing them playing again tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you very much to all you at home for tuning in and listening. <laughs> Stick around. Coming up next on the Nerd Skate Shop track, we will have our Junior, junior showcase. showcase. And then later on right here, we'll have fourth place versus, versus fourth place in an hour-long game. That's at 7 p.m. local time. Double check your times in your area. I've been Smack Lamore. And I'm Broadcrasher. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you again later. Catch you later, you'll take it easy.
Such busy, much tired. <laughs> 11 out of 10, we'll come recommend. <laughs> Good job. No, I mean, you, your banter is spot on. It's like you guys have been working forever. So, we have I mean, been working forever all day. So well, okay, then <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. No, really well done. Thanks, Anna.
normally ask you like preference but I think on something like this we just let's just have fun. Let's call what we see. Yeah, no for sure. And yeah. that's what I've been doing all weekend. Okay, good. Yeah, just something safe. I'm not one that normally likes to split calls. It's just, you know, yeah, exactly. let's just talk about what we see and yeah. mix it up. water bottle.
Hello, welcome back to the CISO Studio Live at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. Uh, we have uh, some of the guys over here. We've got Sin Diesel and Optimus Squad from Team Argentina, and obviously Bob over there. You know Bob. Um, so you guys, hi, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Hola, Argentina. <laughs> hola, hola a todos. So how have you found the last two days? Um, the last two days have been everything it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be an adventure. It's supposed to be about growth and the community and seeing where we are and to what we did in 2014 to be able to come here with 19. Um, we have two more guys that are back in Argentina. Uh, Guille, Itu. Um, it's about learning. It's, a, it's really about learning and getting this group to feel what we felt the first time we were there. So. Yeah. It's the hell of an adventure. And in 2014, you came in and everybody loved you instantly. You came with eight players, and what an incredible game that you brought. And the, the level and the skill that you guys have brought this time around, we can see that improvement, and you you, you can tell that you've, you've improved and you've increased in size and number. You know, it's been a great been a great tournament for you so far. Um, what's been your favorite game? What what juego era tu favorito? Este torneo. Uh, playing Sweden. Okay. Playing Sweden. Um, they they have a hell of a game and a hell of a, uh, a team. Uh, it's uh, a game that we knew was a warm up if uh, we were successful. Um, they they are extremely competitive, and we knew that we needed that type of challenge um, to be able to be successful as we go forward. What would be your ideal gameplay? Like, who would you ideally want to play out the tournament? De todos los equipos que quieres, que qué equipo quieres jugar? El de mañana, USA. Everybody says Team USA. Everybody wants a piece of those guys. Well, you know, if you you, you want to try, <laughs> if you want to try to get on that podium, you got to play the best. Absolutely. And at, at this moment, until someone changes that, that is the US. So we look forward to that challenge. Okay, I'm gonna throw it to Bob. It was obvious to me that as you guys played throughout the tournament, the defense shored up and got better and better and better to the point to the point where you actually were killing jammer penalties with the guys out on the track this last game. Is that just a matter of communication that got better as time went on? How did that why did that change so drastically? I, I believe that Again, we're incorporating 10, new, 10 to not, uh, 11 new skaters. Yes. Uh, the original eight had the opportunity to get used to the feel and the, the emotion and the feel of a bit playing in such a large tournament. Uh, every game has been a learning a game, and I think the game against England um, humbled us, um, made us re realize that we needed to stick to fundamentals. Um, and we've had amazing support and uh, feedback from our, our, our compatriots back in Argentina and uh, our coaches have been working really, really hard. So yeah, each, each game was about improvement and making sure we could stick that because that's what we're going to have. We got to play together to be able to move up forward. Well, I tell you what, before we, be before we leave, first off, we want you guys to know that yesterday Argentina was our second highest viewer. How awesome is that? Behind Mexico. Ah, bien, bien. How awesome is that? That's awesome. I'm really happy that Latin American Roller Derby is, is starting to find a, a, a face Viva here. Latino America. <laughs> so, it, go ahead. In, in your own words, in your own language, say whatever you'd like to the fans. Quiero darle muchas gracias a toda la gente que nos apoyó siempre, que fue a nuestro mouth que nos está mirando, gracias a eso somos eh, la ciudad que más eh, reproducciones tiene el torneo, esperamos dar todo para ustedes y que se sientan bien representados con la selección, los queremos y los queremos ver pronto, ya vamos a volver. Um, and in English, we will do, um, I want to thank everybody in Argentina, um, the support that you guys have given us. Um, I want to send mad love to my people back in Maryland and Philly and to uh, my mother and uh, my kids, because I wouldn't be here without them. So this is awesome, this is awesome. Gracias a mi papá, a mi mamá, 
a mi mujer, a Anabel y a toda mi familia que siempre me apoyó en esto. And most importantly, Team Argentina, baby, because yeah. we're going. We're going. <laughs> thank you very much, Panda. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bob. Nice job, guys. Congratulations. Panda, why don't you go ahead and throw it? We're going to go over to track one because we have the South Alberta Junior Roller Derby taking on a mix of Team Canada, Team USA. Let's go there right now. Yeah. yeah. yeah.